Hello children, how are you? Hope you all are doing good. Children, in last class we discussed about chapter 4, Tick, Tick, Tick. In that what we discussed? We discussed about time. Let us have a quick revise on it. Children, what is this? This is a clock. This is called analog clock. The face of the clock is divided into 12 equal parts. There are 12 numbers on the clock. There are 3 hands. This, is, this long hand is said to be minute hand and the short hand is said to be hour hand. The long thin hand is called seconds hand. Children, on this clock, between two numbers, we have small divisions. These divisions are said to be minutes. Here, from one number to another number, if the minute hand moves, it is, it takes five minutes. So, did you remember five table? That we will use it here. Each number is having five divisions means if the minute hand moves from one number to another number, it will take five minutes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. If our hand is moves from one number to another, we will say an hour is past. If minutes hand moves from one number to another number, we will say it five minutes past. Children, let us see how to draw a clock. First, draw a circle and take its midpoint. At the top, write 12. Quite opposite to 12, write 6. Again, here write 3 and quite opposite to 9, write. Quite opposite to 3, write 9. In 12 and 3, again divide it into 2 equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Children, take care while drawing the clock. It should be like this. 12 is opposite to 6. 9 is opposite to 3. Like this, we have to draw the clock. Let us see what is half and quarter. What is half? Do you know children? When we divide something into two equal parts, is called half of the whole. Let us see the clock. If we divide the clock into two equal parts, remember that in clock we have to divide it vertically. In clock we have to divide it vertically. So this is called half of the whole. Each part is called half of the whole. Here at 6 we have we will say it as 30 minutes. Means we know 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So half we are saying 30 minutes. 30 minutes will become half an hour. Is it clear children? Let us see about quarter. When we divide something into four equal parts, each part is said to be quarter of the whole. So, this is quarter of the whole. So, this part is one fourth of the whole. And this part is also one fourth, quarter of the whole. 
and this is also quarter of the whole. Two quarters makes half. Two quarters makes half. In quarter past, minutes hand always points to three. In quarter two, minutes hand always points to nine. Quarter past is quite opposite to quarter two. Let's see how to read. This is five minutes past. Here, ten minutes past. Here, fifteen minutes past. Or we can say quarter past. Here, twenty minutes past. Here, twenty-five minutes past. Here. Half past at six. Here it is half past at seven. Hey, according to this part, we will say it as two. Then at seven here, twenty-five minutes two. Here, twenty minutes two. Here. Quarter two. Here ten two. Here five minutes two. Here dash o clock. This is the way to read the time. We know that one day equals to twenty-four hours. Those twenty-four hours are divided into two parts. Each part is having twelve hours. That means each part is twelve hours long. These parts are called antemeridium and postmeridium. A.M. and P.M. The first part of the day goes from twelve midnight to. Twelve. The second part of the day goes to twelve noon to twelve midnight. A.M. and P.M. are two Latin phrases. A.M. means ante meridium, which is nothing but before noon. pm means post meridian which is nothing but after noon in 12 hour clock each time comes twice in a day let us see 11 am 11 am means morning we will say okay again we can say it 11 pm at night we will say it as 11 pm that means in 12 hour clock each time comes two times let's see about 24 hour clock in our daily life we always use 12 hour clock but some departments like railway airlines etc they do not use am And PM while telling time, they use twenty-four hour clock. We represent time in twenty-four hour clock using numerals in four digits. Let us see. In twelve hour clock, we can say four PM. As it is in twenty-four hour clock, twelve after four, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, which is nothing but sixteen hours. Or like this also, we can write sixteen hours or sixteen hundred hours. In twenty-four hour clock, twelve midnight. Twelve midnight is written as twenty-four hundred hours, or 
zero 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 hours. This can be written as yes. twenty four hours. Zero 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 hours. Like this also, we can write. In twenty four hour clock, twelve noon is written as twelve noon. <coughs> twelve noon is written as twelve hours or twelve zero zero hours. The number formed by the two digits in the left denotes hours, and the number formed by the two digits in the right denotes minutes. The number formed by the first two digits is less than twelve. It denotes the number of hours before noon. That means this can be written as seven twenty. A.M. This can be written as seven twenty A.M. The number formed by the first two digits is greater than twelve. It denotes hours of afternoon. So this can be written as that time. What we have to do is we have to subtract twelve from this number. Then it will become one forty p.m. In twelve hour clock, we can write it as one forty p.m. Is it clear, children? Let us see. Here we have thirteen forty. We need to say twelve hours. We have to subtract zero four. So this is one hour forty minutes. One forty p.m. Let us see conversion of time. We can convert time from hours to minutes, minutes to seconds. Let us see how to do. Convert hours to minutes. Here we have two hours twenty minutes. We need to convert it into minutes. We know that one hour equals to sixty minutes. So. Two hour twenty minutes can be written as two hour plus twenty minutes. So two hours means one hour equals to sixty minutes. So two into sixty minutes plus twenty minutes, which is nothing but here one twenty minutes plus twenty minutes. One twenty plus twenty, how much ma? Which is nothing but one forty minutes. So two hour twenty minutes is nothing but one forty minutes. Let us see one more problem. Convert five hours ten minutes. Minutes. We know that one hour equals to sixty minutes. So five hour ten minutes can be written as five hour plus ten minutes. So one hour equals to sixty minutes plus ten minutes. Ah, uh, sixty into five. How much ma? It is as it is three hundred. Three hundred minutes plus ten minutes, which is nothing but three hundred and ten minutes. Now we will convert minutes to seconds. Let us see conversion of minutes into seconds. Convert ten minutes to seconds. We know that one minute equals to sixty seconds. Now ten minutes we need to find out. Ten minutes equals to ten into sixty seconds, which is nothing but six hundred seconds. It's very easy, ma, children. Now let us see one more problem. Twenty-four 
convert 15 minutes to seconds. Now, 15 minutes can be written as 15 into 1 minute equals to 60 seconds. So, we need to find out the multiplication 15 into 60. So, let us find out for 6. Anyhow, when we are multiplying with 10s, we need to keep the 0 here. Now, 15 into 6 we will find. 5, 6, yeah, 30. 3 carry forward. 6, 1, yeah, 6. 6, 3, yeah, 6 plus 3, 9. So, which is nothing but 90. So, total is 900 seconds. So, 15 minutes, 15 minutes equals to 900 seconds. Children, let us start today's topic. It is about calendar children do you know you when is your birthday i know you know that you love it very much your birthday na ah. hasita tell me your birthday ma 17th march teacher 17th march which year 2011 very good so 17th march 2011 2011 is year here 17th is date march is month which is nothing but in that year you have birthday in March. Means how can you say by using the calendar. Let us see about calendar now. Children here you can see the calendar of this year 2020. Observe the calendar clearly. I will ask some questions now. You have to answer the questions to me. Observe the calendar ma here. Yes. When you are observing the calendar, here you have 12 months. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So these are months. How many months we have? Count children. Yes. There are 12 months in a year. How many months? Very good. There are 12 months in a year. Tell me the names of the months. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Very good. What is the first month? Yes, it is January. First month is January. What is the fifth month? May. Very good. May is the fifth month. Children, can you say what is the twelfth month? Anyone of the class? Very good. Yes, it is December. December is the twelfth month. What is the eleventh month? Good. November is the 11th month. So, like that, we have 12 months. Next, observe the months once. Observe the once month. Months once. One year equals to 12 months. Very good. Observe the months. Each month is having some days. So, in January, we have 31 days. In February we have 29 days. In March we have how many? Good. 31 days. In April 30, May 31, June 30, July 31, August 31, September 30, October 31, November 30 and December S 31. So, these all are number of days in each month. Ch children, how you will remember the days of the months? Here, children, close your hand like this. You can see some knuckles here. So, from here you start. Here it is January. Here inside February, March, April, May, June, July, August, 
September, October, November, December. Which month you will get on knuckles? That month is having 31 days. So, this is easy to remember. Is it children? Yes, I know. Now, children, total how many days are there in a year? You know that clearly. One year is having 365 days. Or 366 days. A common year is having 365 days. Whereas a leap year is having 366 days days children now i will have a question for you which months are having 30 days let us see how many let us see the months here january we have 31 february 29 march hmm, tell me march 31 april 30 may 31 June 30 July 31 August 31 September 30 October 31 November 30 and December 31 Now let us see how many months are having 30 days April June September November. These four months are having 30 days. One more question. How many months are having 31 days? January, March, May, July, August, October, December. So how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These seven months are having 31 days. Then what about February? Children, in this year, February is having 29 days. But in common year, February is having 28 days. But when we will get 29 days? In leap year only, we will get 29 days in the month of February. This, this year, 2020 is a leap year. Why? Because in February, we have 29 days. Every fourth year is a leap year. You should remember that. Then what about the next leap year? When it will come? Yes, the next leap year will come in 2024. Now children, we, oh, in January month we have 31 days. Once again observe the calendar. How many weeks are there? in a month how many weeks are there in a month in some months we will get five weeks in some months we will get four <coughs> weeks so total how many weeks are there in a year let us see one year means we have 365 days and one more thing in one week how many days we have one week we have seven days. Let me le, uh, tell me the days ma. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. But Sunday is the first day of the week. You should remember that. So one week is having seven days. So we need to find out number of weeks in a year. So, number of weeks in a year equals to total days by number of days in a week. That means total days how many we have? 365 by 7. Now, let us do the division. Uh, let me know the 7 table. In 7 table, shall we get 36? We will see. Hasita, tell me the 7 table. 7, 1, 
जा सेवन सेवन टू जा फोर्टीन सेवन थ्री जा ट्वेंटी वन सेवन फोर जा ट्वेंटी एट सेवन फाइव जा थर्टी फाइव सेवन सिक्स जा फोर्टी टू वेरी गुड स्टॉप इट सेवन फाइव जा थर्टी फाइव सेवन सिक्स जा फोर्टी टू बट वी आर नॉट गेटिंग थर्टी सिक्स हियर सो लेस देन थर्टी सिक्स वॉट वी हैव थर्टी फाइव वी हैव सो वेर वी विल गेट सेवन फाइव जा थर्टी फाइव children you know that clearly division is nothing but repeated subtraction so you have to do subtraction here now 6 minus 5 we will get 1 3 minus 3 0 now get down the next digit next digit is 5 15 again read the seven table 7 1 ja 7 7 2 ja 14 7 3 ja 21 but we have here 15 only so what is the nearest number 14 is the nearest number so 7 to the 14 so one is the remainder here so when we divide 365 by 7 how much we got 52 so in one year we have 52 weeks in one year we have 52 weeks children is it clear to you now in calendar you told me your birthday so it is 17th march 2011 okay written as in so many ways 17th Mar march is third month so 3 2011 or like this also we can write these are the different ways to denote the day and month of in a calendar now let us all of you open your textbook page number 43 rani's diary rani is saying to her friends like this come let's go to see my new baby sister so and she does not even talk she went to home from school she is saying with her mother ma I have brought sweets for Munia. Mother is saying, but she can't eat. She is too small, Rani. Then, his her mother is saying she will start doing all this slowly as she grows up. Then Rani thought that she want to make a note of each activity of her sister in her diary. So here it is given for us. This is Rani's diary. I will note down in my diary when she first starts talking, eating, walking. Here are some pages from Rani's diary. Fifth March two thousand five, Munia is born today. Fifteenth September two thousand five, Munia got her first tooth. Tenth November two thousand five, Munia sat up. 20 November 2005 Munia started crawling 5th January 2006 Munia stood up 5th September 2006 Munia ate a banana 2nd February 2006 Munia started walking Now we need to mark these dates on the timeline let us do it mark these in the correct order on munia's timeline here is the timeline we have at first 5 march 2005 munia was born it is given for us 5th march march means what ma third month it is so 5th march 2005 munia was born now let us see the diary once again 5th march she was born next march after march april may june july august again 15th september 15th september here march april may june july august september here 15th september munia got her first tooth got 
ఫస్ట్ టూత్ వెన్మా ఫిఫ్టీన్త్ సెప్టెంబర్ ఫిఫ్టీన్త్ సెప్టెంబర్ విచ్ నెంబర్ విచ్ సెప్టెంబర్ ఫాల్స్ ఆర్ నైన్త్ మంత్ వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ సిక్స్ సెవెన్ ఎయిట్ నైన్ సో ఫిఫ్టీన్ నైన్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఫైవ్ సెప్టెంబర్ ఆఫ్టర్ అక్టోబర్ ఇన్ అక్టోబర్ మంత్ వీ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ ఎనీ ఈవెంట్స్ దేర్ నెక్స్ట్ ఈజ్ నవంబర్ ఇన్ నవంబర్ వీ హ్యావ్ టూ ఈవెంట్స్ ఆన్ టెన్త్ నవంబర్ మునియా సెటప్ ఆన్ ట్వంటీ ఎయిత్ నవంబర్ మునియా స్టార్టెడ్ క్రాలింగ్ సో టెన్త్ కమ్స్ ఫస్ట్ సో హియర్ టెన్త్ నవంబర్ ఈజ్ లెవెంత్ మంత్ వెరీ గుడ్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఫైవ్ munia sat up and in november only in november 20th november in 20th november 2005 munia started crawling so november also over next 5th january january 2006 that means next year 5th january november november after we will get december again this is the new year 2006 5th january january means 5 this is first month 2006 5th january munia stood up next 5th september 2006 munia ate a banana but february comes before september why because february is the next month of january 2nd february 2006 munia started walking so here it comes 2nd february 2006 february is second month munia started walking February, March, April, May, June, July, August, again September. 5th September, Munia ate a banana. September is 9th month. Munia ate banana. This is the timeline of the Rani's diary. here we have some questions let us answer the questions munia got her first tooth in september how many months old was she then how many months have passed from march to september how many months old was she so munia got her first tooth in september when munia was born she was born in march March to September, let us count the months. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 months passed. So, Munya is 6 months old. How many months have passed from March to September? 6 months passed. Next, look at the one more question. How old was Munya when she first sat up? When she sat up in November. So, how many months from March to November? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, when she first sat up, she was 8 months old. She got her first tooth. When she got her first tooth? She got her first tooth on 15th September. So, how many months passed? Ma? March 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Up to September, 6 months passed. So, she was 6 months old when she got her first tooth. Next, what did she do first? Walking, eating a banana. When she started walking? February 2006. When she ate banana? September 2006. So, which one comes first? Walking. So, tick in your textbook at walking. 
when did she do first crawling or standing when uh, when she started crawling 20th november when she was tested up january 2006 so which one is first crawling is first children is it clear to all of you very good children we will meet in the next class with another topic till then stay home stay safe thank you children